Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm filming from a different setup, so let me know in the comments what you think of this setup. But besides that, today I'm going to talk about the books that I read in July and I'm pretty happy with what I read, but I feel like I could have done a lot better if I had chosen a different book in this pile of books that I read, but I will talk about that later in the video. I also only have 13% on my camera, so let's go with the video. The first book that I finished in July, I think, yeah, it's my favorite read of the month, and that is Hero at the Fall by Alwyn Hamilton. This is the third book in the Rebel of the Sands trilogy. I did it. I finally finished another series again. It's been such a long time since I did that. I'm really, really bad at finishing series. Like, starting is quite easy, but then continuing on and, like, finishing the actual thing is uh, quite a problem for me. <laughs> I cannot talk about any of the things that happen in the third book in this trilogy because, obviously, spoilers, but let's say that this was one of the best finales that I've ever read. I'm pretty sure you all have heard me talking about Rebel of the Sands. It's one of my favorite books of all time and this whole trilogy is I am pretty sure my favorite trilogy of all time. If you like adventure, fantasy, really great characters, a lovely romance, just an epic world, you need this in your life. The main character is awesome with guns and it's just so, so good. I know that I will reread this trilogy for like multiple times in my life because it's so good. And I cannot wait to read anything else by Alwyn Hamilton. I know that she's working on a different fantasy book. I have no clue what it's about, but I'm gonna need it in my life. After that, I wanted to do a little something different in my reading experience again, and I read Sculpture by Scott McCloud. So this is a graphic novel, and as you can see, it's a really, really long one, which I adore. Graphic novels, which are so short, I read them in like two hours, and they are so expensive. That is what I don't like about graphic novels, because they are super expensive, and you read it for such a short amount of time. I mean, of course, the artwork inside of it is gorgeous, but this one was absolutely perfect, because you get a really Really gorgeous story. You have great art. I will show it to you guys. This story is about an artist, a sculptor in New York, and his career has been really quite bad. His only wish is like to create art, but he hasn't been able to like get back into the game because he was super popular back in the day. These days, right now, he's not that great anymore, but he makes a deal with death that he can sculpture anything from anything, like, I don't know, stone, wood, with his hands, and then he will die after a certain amount of days. This is such an incredible story. You also see a lot of New York, which was really awesome. Overall, it was just an amazing experience, and if you want to read a graphic novel and you are a starter with reading graphic novels just like me, I feel like this would be perfect, because you pay, like, 20 euros for a hardcover graphic novel book, which is, like... 500 pages I want to say. I forgot to say what the rating was for Hero at the Fall. Definitely a 5 out of 5 stars. It was good. It made me cry. This one also kind of made me like wipe away a little tear. I gave this one I believe a 4 out of 5 stars and would recommend it to literally everyone. After that I was sort of switching between two reads but this is the one that I finished first and that is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. As you can see I own a lot of Harry Potter stuff. This is my Harry Potter shelf and I also own uh, a lot of illustrated editions but I'm currently on this one with rereading the Harry Potter books also for the first time in English. I was reading this in preparation for visiting the Warner Brothers Studios in London, which that tour is absolutely amazing. I loved every single bit of it. Reading this book was sort of like my preparation to get into like the Harry Potter vibe again. I love this so much. I love Harry Potter even more now that I'm reading it in English because this is literally how the characters' names are. Places like nothing is edited into like the Dutch language. This feels just how Harry Potter is supposed to be. So it's pretty like well known that the Chamber of Secrets is a lot of people's like least favorite book in the whole series. I cannot really like say that because I feel like I need to reread the rest of the series to really have like a good opinion about it. But I can see why because like the big event happens at the very last moment. Oh my god. Gilderoy Lockhart, he is such a douche. I love Harry Potter and I cannot wait to reread um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban in the illustrated edition as well. Five out of five stars for this one. I mm, adored it. And then the last book that I finished was kind of like uh, this was a little bit of a struggle to get through, which I wasn't expecting at all, and that is By Your Side by Casey West. When you go into a Casey West book, you know what you are getting because it's just a cliché 
YA romance novel. So pretty much when you read the back of this book, you know how it's gonna end. That's not really a spoiler, you know how it's gonna go. It's like one of those guilty pleasure reads and that's totally what this was for me. This story is about a girl and a guy who get locked up in their school library on accident. This girl was kind of like hmm, being really flirtatious with one guy in school, but now that she is with this like really bad boy in the school library, she starts to, you know, get to know him. What's gonna happen after they leave the school library? Oh my god. This takes place during winter time and it is like full on summer right now so that kind of maybe threw me off. Also they came out of the library so much quicker than I thought but what I did find was really awesome in this book is that there is anxiety representation. I don't have it myself um, but I feel like it's always good to learn more about like mental struggles and I need to learn more about that so that was an amazing surprise. The main reason why I did not like this book was just how kind of like cringy it was. I feel like this book was like a hundred or like a hundred and fifty pages longer. Everything could have been worked out so much better because this story ended so abruptly and like really big things in the plot which were gonna happen happened in the last 20 pages which were over in like 10 minutes. I gave this one a three out of five stars because I kind of enjoyed it. Like you know it's a guilty pleasure read but the story wasn't really that great and it, it really took me a long time to get through this book. I feel like the story could have been executed a whole lot better. So those were the four books that I finished in July. If you guys want to know what I'm gonna read in August, I uploaded a really fun video with Mind Daisies aka Leora. She is a Dutch booktuber but she also makes videos with like lookbooks and artsy and craftsy stuff which is amazing so go check out my August TBR because she picked that for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Of course, I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to those will be in the description bar down below. And again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!